Hey everyone, we're finally on the brink of Christmas and the celebration of Christ's coming. This is such a special time for us and for all of God's people. And even though things are different this year, we have plans in place for our church celebration. Christmas Eve morning, we will post a Christmas Eve streaming service with live elements from this year and recorded elements from past years. You'll want to have candles ready when you watch, and you can access this, the service at any time through the regular streaming channels. In addition to the streaming service, we're also meeting in the church parking lot at 5 o'clock on Christmas Eve. This will be an abbreviated service of carols, scripture, homily, and candles. We'll have a live nativity with live animals. We'll have luminaries. We'll provide candles for everyone who attends this event, but based on the weather, you may want to, might want to bring an umbrella. Thank you to all who have contributed to our Christmas Eve offering. If you haven't yet, let me encourage you to pray about your involvement. We're raising funds to help the Houghton Academy scholarships for missionary kids and third culture kids and to help create exchange partnerships with international Christian schools and other places of the world. You can give anytime, either by mail, online, you can drop off your gift at the church office. You can also uh, bring it to the Christmas Eve outdoor service. And this Sunday, we will be streaming our worship service at 10 a.m. The parking lot services are on pause for a while until the weather is a little more accommodating, particularly for all that's involved in setting up. But we'll be back out there as soon as we possibly can. On Sunday, I mentioned that watching the 1951 version of A Christmas Carol is one of our family traditions. One of my favorite scenes is when Scrooge encounters the ghost of Christmas present. Scrooge comes into his room and finds it filled with all kinds of fruits and nuts and turkeys and geese and all kinds of Christmas decorations and treats. And in the middle of it, seated on the throne, is the ghost of Christmas present. He's wearing a fur-lined coat, a wreath on his head, an enormous beard, and he's laughing uproariously. He says to Scrooge, Come in. Come in, Ebenezer Scrooge, and know me better. I am the spirit of Christmas present. Look upon me. You've never seen the likes of me before, have you? And Scrooge replies, never. And I wish the pleasure had been indefinitely postponed. The spirit says, so is your heart still unmoved toward us then? And Scrooge replies, I'm too old. I'm beyond hope. Go and redeem some younger, some more promising creature. Lead me to keep Christmas in my own way. And the Spirit answers, Mortal, we spirits of Christmas do not live only one day of the year. We live the whole 365. So it is true of the child born in Bethlehem. He does not live in people's hearts only one day of the year, but in all the days of the year. I don't think that last response of the Spirit is in the book, but it intrigues me. Sometimes Christmas Day and even the season of Advent can become so much of our focus that we forget that what happens at Christmas is not just about Christmas. It's about every moment of every day of every year. Christ comes not just to enhance our perspective for a few days in December. Christ comes to transform our lives every day, now and forever. And it's this truth that gets to the ultimate plan of Christ's coming, that Christ comes to redeem all of his creation through the ongoing witness of those who believe. This is the call of Jesus when he commissions the disciples. You will be my witnesses. This is the word of the prophet. Pass through, pass through the gates, prepare the way for the people, build up, build up the highway, remove the stones, raise a banner for the nations. This is the promise of God to Abram. All peoples on earth will be blessed through you. And this is the word, again, of the prophet Isaiah. All of the people walking in darkness have seen a great light. For to us a child is born. To us a son is given. It's wonderful to realize that we can be new creatures in Christ. It's even more profound and awesome and mind-boggling that we can be Christ's agents, his image bearers, who are given the privilege of participating in his mission of redeeming the whole world, 
all of creation. The call of Christmas is to open our hearts and our lives to him so that we might bear his image of love and grace and transformation to others. Not just one day a year or, or one season of the year, but every day of every year. Through the grace of the Christ child, may this be our prayer and our desire. Almighty God, who came to us long ago in the birth of Jesus Christ, to be born in us anew by the power of your Holy Spirit, we offer our lives to you and ask for grace and strength to be faithful, Christ-like image bearers of you. In his name we pray. Amen. Thanks again for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Merry Christmas.